can't believe we're finally here. With all that we've imagined, the reality of this night is sure to make this the best night ever! At the gala. At the gala. At the gala. In the garden. I'm going to see them all. All the creatures. I'll befriend them at the gala. At the gala. All the birdies and the critters. They will love me big and small. We'll become good friends forever. Right here at the gala. I will sell them on my apple tastic treats. Hungry ponies, they will buy them. Caramel apples, apple sweets. And I'll earn a lot of money for the apple family. All our dreams and our hopes from now until hereafter. All that we've been wishing for will happen at the gala. At the gala of the royals, they will meet fair rarity. They will see I'm just as regal at the gala. I will find him, my prince charming, and how gallant he will be. He will treat me like a lady tonight at the gallows. This is what we've waited for to have the best night ever. Each of us will live our dreams tonight. Ever. You know why? Because we're all going to spend time at the gala together. Or not. Princess Celestia! Twilight! It is so lovely to see my star student. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. We have so much to catch up on. Well, I want you right by my side the entire evening, so we'll have plenty of time together. <laughs> That's just what I was hoping you'd say. Look here, our three little ponies, ready to sing for this crowd. Listen up, cause here's our story. I'm gonna sing it very loud. Fight! 
the time is really right And you know just what you're supposed to do And you tell it comes to light But it's not as easy as it sounds And that waiting's hard to do So we test our talents everywhere Until I You should be proud. Now, come on! Let's hear it for all our talented fillies and colts. Our first award goes to... Sniff and Snails <laughs> for Best Magic Act. Hey! <laughs> mine at least shinier. Well, mine's bigger. Oh, yeah? Well, well mine is, um, heavier. The next award goes to... Sunny Days and Peachy Pie for Best Dramatic Performance. <gasps> and finally, the last award of the night goes to... The Cutie Mark Crusaders! What? For Best Comedy Act. Oh, <laughs> You know what would be the best? If we won and we got our cutie marks. Hmm. She's going to want to see attitude and pizzazz. Uh, attitude and uh, uh, pizzazz. More light! It has to catch the sequence just so, or the whole outfit is just a disaster. Ooh, and the headdress needs more feathers. Pinkie Pie, more feathers! <laughs> And sequins! More sequins! <gasps> and more ribbon! Oh no! Less ribbon! No! More ribbon! Yeah. Oh, this hem is completely off! Pin cushion! <laughs> Thank you all for helping me. I'm sorry to be so short with you, but I'm, I'm just so nervous. Ooh, doesn't that hurt? Thick scales. Can't feel a thing. And even if I could, there is no pain that would keep me from assisting the most beautiful creature in the world. Ugh. I'm gonna tell you two a secret, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. I promise. Cross my heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. I have a crush on Rarity. <gasps> we won't say a word. Give me a break. Every pony already knows how you... Twilight, you promised Spike you wouldn't say anything. He trusts you. And losing a friend's trust is the fastest way to lose a friend forever. But forever! My lips are sealed. Though I'm pretty sure Rarity is going to pick up on your feelings. I photo finish have arrived. Let me just say, what an honor. We begin 
took any pictures. I'm so sorry. I tried my best. Well, the headdress is too big for you, and the cape had too much sparkle. I can't believe I ever thought I could impress her. It seems that I, Photo Finish, have found the next fashion star here in Ponyville. Really? Yes, really. And I, Photo Finish, am going to help her to shine all over Equestria. Tomorrow, a photo shoot in the park. I go. Did you hear that? I am going to shine all over Equestria. Oh, Rarity, I was so worried I'd ruined everything. Oh, never. I knew you'd be perfect. No, 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 yes! That is definitely the one. No, I don't like it. Oh, I love it! Yay! You ponies did an amazing job. It's exactly the way I imagined it. We just followed your brilliant design. Like we should have let you do for our outfits. Those first dresses you designed were perfect. We're so super sorry. You worked really hard to make our dresses exactly the way we wanted them. And we all saw how well that turned out. Oh, I forgive you. Well, that's mighty big of you. But my whole career is still ruined. Oh, right. That. Maybe not. <laughs> all right, I haven't got all day. Take two. <laughs> Hello. Well, this can't be the same designer. Magnificent! And I suddenly have a fierce craving for some Dutch apple pie, candied apples on a stick, apple turnovers, apple cobbler. are absolutely amazing! Who is responsible? Step forward, show yourself! Bravo! Bravo! Magnifico! Oh, oh. oh, thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! Dear Princess Celestia, this week, my very talented friend Rarity learned that if you try to please every pony, you oftentimes end up pleasing no pony, especially yourself. And I learned this. When some pony offers to do you a favor, 
like making you a beautiful dress, you shouldn't be overly critical of something generously given to you. In other words, you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Rarity, my congratulations to you on a most impressive fashion debut. Would you do me the great honor of allowing me to feature your couture in my best of the best boutique and cantalot? <gasps> now, I'll need you to make a dozen of each dress for me by next Tuesday. <laughs> garment is chic, unique, and magnifique. <gasps> Sapphire Shores! The Pony of Pop! Good afternoon, Miss Rarity! <laughs> you know my name. Well, of course I do, darling. I make it a point to know all of the up-and-coming designers, and Clothes Horse Magazine simply raved about you! Oh, my stars! If I'm dreaming, do not wake me up. How may I help you, Miss Shores? Oh, please, call me Sapphire. <laughs> How may I help you, Sapphire? Well, as I'm sure you know, I'll be touring all of Equestria with my latest concert, Sapphire Shaw Zigfilly Follies. So I need to look sensational. Ow! I have just what you need. Sapphire Shores, prepare yourself for the piece de résistance de la haute couture. I used every last diamond I found on this one garment. <gasps> and it is spectacular. I'll take it. Really? Oh, yes, and five more, each done up in a different jewel. Beg pardon? Costume changes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I do have that effect on ponies. We may be divided, but of you all I beg To remember we're all hoofed at the end of each leg No matter what the issue, come from wherever you please All this fighting gets you nothing but huff and mouth disease Arguing's not the way, hey come out and play It's a shiny new day, so what do you say? You gotta share, you gotta care Both our diets, I should mention, are completely vegetarian. We all eat hay and oats. Why be at each other's throat? You gotta share. You gotta care. It's the right thing to do. And they'll always be a way through. All right, Pinkie Pie, that was fantastic. What a great song. You're right on. It appears that Sheriff Silverstar and I have come to an agreement. We have. That was the worst performance we've ever seen. <laughs> Evidently. The time for action is upon us. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow. And if the orchard is still there, we'll flatten it and the whole town. <gasps> but Chief... And we Appaloosans say you better bring your best, cause we'll be ready and waiting. But Sheriff... Oh, that wasn't the message of my song at all. I want my kin to have what they need to live, but a storm's a brewing here, and I don't like the look of it. We've just got to talk some sense into them before some pony gets hurt. Listen, maybe if you would just reconsider, we... About the trees. Now, if you just... <gasps> If 
we could just sit down and talk, we could... <gasps> Why won't anybody be rational and reasonable? Sheriff, if we could only... some way to stop this? Unless the settlers remove those trees? I do not think so. I know you don't want to do this. But they have taken our land. What would you have me do, Rainbow Dash? I don't know. But it's never too late to think of something. Hello? If my tummy's full, the rest of me is still empty. I miss Twilight and the Pony Gang, but she doesn't love me anymore. So I'm better off here, all by myself. Wow, seems to be getting warmer. The steam is great for my complexion, but it's sure getting hot in here. What are you doing in my cave? And why are you eating my jams? Uh, hey, bro. I didn't know this was your cave. And I didn't know these were your gems, but we're cool, right? Well, whoa. Hey, uh, we're like brothers, you know? I mean, you're a dragon, I'm a dragon. It's us against the world, right? Uh, you don't scare me. So you're big. Really big. And your claws are super sharp. Tail. Extra spiky. But, uh, you don't scare me. Ha! How'd you like that? Uh, I'd love to stay, but gotta go. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. you I was so worried about you why did you run away I thought you didn't need me anymore and that you didn't love me anymore spike sure I was disappointed but you are my number one assistant and friend and you always will be 
It's just that sometimes I need some help at night. I can't ask you to stay up late. You're a baby dragon, and you need your rest. Owls are nocturnal, so I asked Aloysius to help, but not to take your place. That wicked enchantress of Cora Lake's there doing her evil stuff! Oh, she's so evil, I even wrote a song about her! Here we go! She's an evil enchantress, she does evil dances, and if you look deep in her eyes, she'll put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil brew, then she'll gobble you up in a big tasty stew, so watch out! Wow, catchy. It's a work in progress. This is all just a lot of gossip and rumors. Now tell me, what exactly have you actually seen Zakora do? Well, once a month, she comes into Ponyville. Ooh. Then she lurks by the stores. Oh, my. And then she digs at the ground. Good gracious. Okay, I'm sorry, but how is any of this bad? Maybe she comes to town to visit. Yeah, maybe she's just trying to be neighborly. And maybe she's not lurking by the stores. Maybe she's going to them, lurk-free, to do some shopping. Yeah, every pony likes to shop. You know what I think? Have a bloom. Hush and let the big pony talk. I am a big pony. What about digging at the ground? You gotta admit, that's weird. What if she's digging for innocent creatures? I'm sure there's an explanation for everything Zakora does. And if any pony here were actually brave enough to approach her, she would find out the truth. Well, I'm brave enough. I'm gonna find out myself. Well, I heard that Sakura eats hay. Pinky, I eat hay. You eat hay. Yeah, but I heard it's the evil way she eats hay. Hey, where's Apple Bloom? The door's open. She went outside, and Sakura's still out there. Oh, that silly little filly. I told her to stay put. Spike, you stay here in case Apple Bloom comes back. Will do. Folk, those leaves of blue are not a joke. You, you keep your creepy mumbo jumbo to yourself, you hear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that supposed to be scary? You wish you could up in a big tasty stew. Oh, brother. Beware. Beware. Yeah, back at you, Zakora. You and your lame curse are the ones who better beware. And you. Why couldn't you just listen to your big sister? Uh, I... Who knows what kind of nasty curse Sakura could have just put on you? Just like in my song! Evil enchantress with the dances and the trances! You guys, there's no such thing as curses! Well, that's interesting to hear coming from Miss Magic Pants herself. My magic, real magic, comes from within. It's a skill you're born with. Curses are artificial, fake magic. It's conjured with potions and incantations, while smoke and mirrors meant to scare. But curses have no real power. They're just an old ponytail. Just you wait, Twilight. You're gonna learn that some ponytails really are true. Just put one hoof in front of the other. Ah! What was that? Twilight? Is that you? Oh, Twilight, it is you. Thank goodness you're here. I need your help. The girls are out here somewhere, and I'm afraid that they're... Oh! What's happened to you? No! Oh, no! If you've been turned to stone, it must mean... Oh, oh no! The girls! Don't move. I'll be back for you. Girls! It's not. It's two. 
is not is two girls. Our special talent is not arguing. Besides, what would the cutie mark of some pony whose talent is arguing even look like? Girls? Girls? Fluttershy? Girls, thank goodness I found you. Fluttershy, what? Girls, we have to leave the forest at once. But we haven't found the chicken yet. There's no time for that. There's a cockatrice on the loose. A cocka what now? A cockatrice. It's a frightening creature with the head of a chicken and the body of a snake. Now, come on. The head of a chicken and the body of a snake? <gasps> That doesn't sound scary. That sounds silly. Well, if I ever saw one of them cocka thingies face to face, I'd laugh at how silly it was. No, never look one in the eye. You look a cockatrice in the eye. The chicken! Girls, wait! Here, chicken, 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 chicken! Chick chick there he is! Two chickens? I, I thought only one escaped. Grab the boat! Snuck out of the house and into the forest. Yeah, we'll listen to you from now on. We promise. Oh, you do, do you? Well, you better, or I'll give you the stare. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce myself. My name is Twilight. <laughs> oh, uh, Sparkle and my friends and I are residents here in Equestria. <sighs> Ponyville, to be exact. We've come here to ask that you find another spot to take your nap. It's just that you seem to be doing an awful lot of snoring, and every time you do, you send out a terrible cloud of smoke. <laughs> Equestria simply can't survive a hundred years in a dark haze. You understand, don't you? So you'll find another place to sleep? <laughs> so much for <coughs> persuading him. Now what? <coughs> Obviously, this situation just calls for a little pony charm. Allow me, girls. I'm so sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> uh, but I couldn't possibly head back home without mentioning what handsome scales you have. Shouldn't those scales have to be hidden away in some silly cave for a hundred years? <clears throat> Personally. I think you should skip the snoozing and be out there, showing them off. Hmm. 
obviously I would be more than happy to keep an eye on your jewels while you're gone. <laughs> I was this close to getting that diamond. You mean getting rid of that dragon? Oh, yeah, sure. What in tarnation? <laughs> Darling, you look ridiculous. Exactly! Sharing a laugh is a surefire way to get someone on your side. Hi! <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't like laughing. <laughs> Poor Sharing. All right, that's it. We've tried persuasion. Charm, whatever it is Pinkie Pie does. <laughs> it's time to stop wasting time. I'm going in. Rainbow, no. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> about that but you're bigger than she is and you should know better you should also know better than to take a nap where your snoring can become a health hazard to other creatures but I don't you but I mean mister now what do you have to say for yourself I said what do you have to say for yourself <laughs> <laughs> Pinky and Rarity were safe. Whoosh! Me and Fluttershy looked to loop around and wham! Caught you right in the nick of time. Yes, Rainbow, I was there. And I'm very grateful. But we gotta. <gasps> a Manticore! <laughs> We've gotta get past him. <laughs> Take that, you ruffian! This might hurt for just a second. Fluttershy! <laughs> oh, you're just a little old baby kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. How did you know about the thorn? I didn't. Sometimes we all just need to be shown a little kindness. <laughs> I just need a rest from all this icky muck. Well, I didn't mean that literally. That ancient ruin could be right in front of our faces and we wouldn't even know it. I didn't see you here. My apologies. Right here. Oh, wait. I think I stepped in something. It's just mud. Girl. 
girls, don't you see? When I was a little filly and the sun was going down. Tell me she's not. The darkness and the shadows, they would always make me frown. She is. I'd hide under my pillow from what I thought I saw. But Granny Pie said that wasn't the way to deal with fears at all. So what is? She said, Pinky, you gotta stand up tall. Learn to face your fears. You'll see that they can't hurt you. Just laugh to make them disappear. Ha, ha, ha. <gasps> so. Right, Applejack. Your apple bucking hasn't just caused you problems. It's overpropelled Pegasus, practically poisoned plenty of ponies, and terrorized bushels of brand new bouncing baby bunnies. I don't care what you say, you need help. <laughs> ha! No, I don't. Look, I did it. I harvested the entire sweet apple acres without your help. <laughs> How'd you like them apples? Oh, how do you like them apples? Applejack! Huh? Oh, good. You're okay. Now, Applejack, I completely respect the Apple family ways. You're always there to help any pony in need. So maybe you can put a little of your stubborn pride aside and allow your friends to help you. Okay, Twilight. I am not taking no for an answer. What? Yes, Twilight. Yes, please. I could really use your help. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, my friend Applejack is the best friend a pony could ever have, and she's always there to help any pony. The only trouble is, when she needs help, she finds it hard to accept it. So while friendship is about giving of ourselves to friends, it's also about accepting what our friends have to offer. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. How about y'all take a little break? I got some fine apple juice waiting for you. <sighs> Girls, I can't thank you enough for this help. I was acting a bit stubborn. A bit? Okay, a mite stubborn. And I'm awful sorry. Now, I know the town gave me the prize pony award, but the real award is having you five as my friends. Phew! That apple 
fucking sure made me hungry. And I've got the perfect treat. Ew! Spike, I threw those away! Where'd you get them? From the trash. Ew! Just a little nibble? Come on! <laughs> See? And now you have lots and lots of friends! Are you all right, Sugar King? <laughs> Sauce. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Uh. Hey, Twilight! Pinkie Pie's starting through the tail in the pony! Wanna play? No! All the ponies in this town are crazy! Do you know what time it is? It's the eve of the summer sun celebration. Every pony has to stay up, or they'll miss the princess raise the sun. You really should lighten up, Twilight. It's a party. <laughs> Here I thought I'd have time to learn more about the elements of harmony. But, silly me, all this ridiculous friend-making has kept me from it. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about everlasting night. I hope the princess was right. I hope it really is just an old pony tale. Come on, Twilight! It's time to watch the sunrise! Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that I saw you walking into town and I went, <gasps> but I mean, really, who can top that? <laughs> Gentle Colts, as mayor of Ponyville, it is my great pleasure to announce the beginning of the Summer Sun Celebration. <laughs> In just a few moments, our town will witness the magic of the sunrise and celebrate this, the longest day of the year. And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the ruler of our land, the very pony who gives us the sun and the moon each and every day, the good, the wise, the bringer of harmony to all of Equestria. Ready? Princess Celestia! Huh? This can't be good. Remain calm, every pony. There must be a reasonable explanation. <gasps> She's gone! Ooh, she's good. Oh no! Nightmare Moon! Oh, my beloved subjects. It's been so long since I've seen your precious little sun-loving faces. What did you do with our princess? Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Why? Am I not royal enough for you? Don't you know who I am? Ooh, ooh, more guessing games. Um, Pokey Smokes. How about Queen Mimi? No, Black Snooty, Black Snooty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does my crown no longer count now that I have been imprisoned for a thousand years? Did you not recall the legend? Did you not see the signs? I did, and I know who you are. You're the Mare in the Moon, Nightmare Moon. <gasps> well, 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 some pony who remembers me. Then you also know why I'm here. You're here to... to... <laughs> Remember this day, little ponies, for it was your last. From this moment forth, the night will last forever. <laughs> This story is called The Legend of the Headless Horse. It was a dark and stormy night, just like this one, and three ponies were having a slumber party, just like this one. And just when the last pony thought she was safe, there, standing right behind her, just inches away was... The Headless Horse! <laughs> Ghost story? Check. Now, who wants s'mores? 
Then you place one marshmallow on the top of the chocolate and be sure it's centered, that's critical, and then carefully put another perfectly square graham cracker on the top. And done! Ta-da! Ooh! Nah, you just ate them! You could at least say excuse me. Oh, well, I was just about to, but you interrupted me. Pardon. S'mores, check. Now the next item of fun we have to do is truth or dare. I dare Applejack to do something carefully and neatly for change. Oh, yeah? Well, I dare Rarity to lighten up and stop obsessing over every last little detail for a change. I think the truth of the matter is that some pony could stand to pay a little more attention to detail. And I think the truth is some pony ought to quit with her fussing so the rest of us can get things done. Um, I don't think this is how the game's supposed to work. You have to give an honest answer to any question or do whatever any pony dares you to do. I dares you to step outside and let your precious tight and mane get ruined again. <gasps> you have to. It's the rule. Ha! Fine! <laughs> okay, I dare Applejack to play dress-up in a frou frou glittery lacy outfit. <gasps> Happy. Fairy. <laughs> um, do I ever get a turn? I dare you to enter the next rodeo when it comes to town. I dare you not to enter the next rodeo that comes to town. I dare you to not comb your mane a hundred times before bed. And I dare you to comb yours just once. I, uh, I think we should check off truth or dare and move on. Let's see what our next fun, fun, fun thing is, shall we? Hmm, what does this mean? Pillow fight? Oh, please. I am not at all interested in participating in something so crude. <laughs> oh! It is on. <laughs> Orchard? What tree? You mean Bloomberg? No. Fluttershy. Fluttershy's not a tree, silly. What's going on? Rainbow Dash thinks Fluttershy's a tree. I do not think she's a tree. I was Did just... Did you say she was a tree? No. Well, yes, but not exactly. You know, she's not a tree, right? Well, she's not a tree, Dashy. I'd like to be a tree. Oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Well, that was kind of Huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all be quiet now? <gasps> Bloomberg? Bloomberg! <sighs> Sorry, but I tend to snore a bit. Good night. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
tells me this isn't a circus act. Hey there, where are you heading in such a hurry? Wow, you're pretty quick for someone so bulky. No offense. I just want to know. Napping Spike. I'll show her. <laughs> hey there. Welcome to Appaloosa. Braeburn, listen. Cousin Applejack, mind your manners. You have yet to introduce me to your compadres. Shame on you. Braeburn, listen. Something terrible's happened. Terrible is right. Your train is a full seven minutes late. Oh, how are we gonna find an ocean major when I can't even see my own hoof in front of my face? Hold on. <laughs> Hey guys, where are you going? Get up now! Got a major problem! Yeah. Actually, it's a big one. What is so important that you cannot wait until morning to disturb Trixie? Twilight, you've got to come! Quick! I've already told you, Spike, I don't want to show up Trixie. No, you don't understand! It's... Uh, is that what I think it is? Majorly. Great and powerful Trixie, you've got to vanquish the Ursa. Yeah, vanquish the weekend watch. It took a lot of trouble to get that thing here. Wait, you brought this here? <gasps> Are you out of your little pony minds? But you're the great and powerful Trixie. Yeah, remember? You defeated an Ursa Major. <laughs> and vanquish it, eh? <laughs> well, that was a dud. Yeah, come on! Where's all the cool explosions and smoke and stuff like earlier, you know? Uh oh <laughs> Ursa 
head to town. You what? Dory, the great and powerful Trixie will vanquish it. I can't. What? Well, I can't. I never have. No one can vanquish an Ursa Major. I just made the whole story up to make me look better. Made it up? up. Yeah. <laughs>